Do you wonder why your scalp and shoulder pain simply won't go away, no matter how much you stretch or strengthen? Today, I'm going to reveal to you the hidden connection between uneven hips and the shoulder pain that has been troubled many of you for a long time. Let's meet Coco, who experienced the shoulder pain after practicing handstand a few weeks ago. This pain made it difficult for her to perform shoulder presses in her weightlifting training. Upon examination, I discovered something interesting about her posture. Coco already had the rotation in her pelvis, with her left hip shifting forward, causing her lower body to turn to the right side. Firstly, I'd like you to understand why your body is rotating. It's because you shifted your body weight both on the shoulder plane and the frontal plane. Working on regaining your balance right at the center can greatly help in realigning your whole body. I'll dive into this in more details in another episode. Due to the prolonged rotation, her pelvis changed. Her left hip developed into a more forward and external rotated position, while her right did just the opposite to match the rotation. This caused her spine to keep rotating upward. Yet, because our head always facing forward, the thorax, your chest, needs to compensate by rotating towards the opposite. It has to rotate left to keep your head facing forward. Otherwise, you would be walking like this. Yet, the humerus are always facing forward. So the upper thorax turning to the left and the humerus remaining in the up position caused the left scapula to tilting upward and forward. This led to her uneven handstand, the wobbly left shoulder and the subsequent shoulder injury. To address this, I worked on her rotator hips rather than focusing on external rotation and pressing the so-called rotator cuff muscles. The key is actually to bring her pelvis back to a symmetrical and balanced status. I decided to tackle the issue without directing touching on her shoulders. Here are three exercises she trained. The initial exercise, the left hip internal rotation and the posterior pelvis correction. This exercise is performed with her lying supine. Her legs are elevated on a bench, ensuring that her hips, knees and ankles are all aligned at a 90 degree angle. By applying a downward pull on the left heel, she can engage the left hamstring, facilitating posterior rotation of the left hip. Additionally, by squeezing a foam roller between her knee, she can promote internal rotation of the left pelvis. The second exercise is the right hip opener. Initially, Coco positioned herself in a supine position. The right hip is flexed to its maximum capacity, while the left hip is extended on the bottom. Subsequently, the right leg is externally rotated to ensure it's straight with the toes pointed upwards towards the ceiling. In this position, the right hip needs to adapt to full range of motion with the stable trunk. This exercise aims to open her right pelvis. The final exercise is crocodile breathing, executed with her lying prone on a bench. This technique involves deep breathing direct to walk the lower back. This method assists in releasing the thoracolumbar fascia, thereby facilitating a reduction in trunk rotation. The application of the lightweight plate on her lower back ensured her focus on breathing into this area helped to restore both tension and space with the lower back region. Voila! Here's Coco's improved squat posture afterward. The right training has helped her regain the chest pelvis alignment and reduce her risk of future shoulder injury, whether in handstands or weightlifting. Tackling the root cause will save her from long-term shoulder pain rather than short-term painkiller solutions. Train like a human before you train like an athlete. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe for more tips on how to lift heavy and stay injury-free.